Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Easy Glaze, and for those who you know been following, you know over the summer I was attempting to do a front strain, and that was a bit of a fiasco. So let me catch you guys up to speed. So this pole barn building here, I was getting water where that window is there. Part of the reason why was because it um see that area here. I put an awning here. There was not an awning before, so water was going right inside, and water was seeping in through the sides there. So I used um what is it called uh it's a foam. I forgot the exact name of it, but it's a foam. Uh, a lot of you guys who do it, you know, do DIY projects, you know what I'm talking about. Insulated foam. There we go. So I did insulated foam on the side. And then um, I installed this awning. Did a lot of insulation foam on the inside. Not the prettiest, but that part right there stopped the water from coming in. Now another area I had with this building here. Take a step back so you guys can take a look. I was having issues with water going into this building here. Mainly because of the downspout here. The old owner, he had a big pipe going from here, connected to the downspout, and he tried to run the water up here. If that wasn't working, water would just rush back in to the building. Um, before, the grass was leveled more to the building, but it was actually the dirt and the grass had grew higher than the foundation of the building. So, yeah, so French drain fiasco. What I tried to do was a French drain from here, all through here. Let me, let me go back all through here down through here and around here to make its exit and I even dug this area up as well I decided to fill it back in um, ultimately what happened was I had the perforated pipe the front strain pipe um, because perforated and corrugated if I'm saying it correctly but French drain pipe I had it installed here and I had it going I had it going all throughout here um I think I actually stopped about here but what I noticed was I was fighting gravity uh when you're doing a French drain you want it to go you want it to slope down um and that just wasn't happening from that area over there where I dug up again I was just fighting gravity right another issue that I had oh plenty of issues during this project I started in the summer and June and we are in November now I mean I've done most of this work by myself I had my neighbor come with his tractor and dig up a little but uh an issue that I ran into here my septic tank they wired it to this building and when I was digging I ran right into the wire so again I was fighting gravity and French drain idea was not gonna work um if I was a professional it might work um possibly could install the sub pump or something like that um and this is just from watching videos on YouTube and things like that. But ultimately, it wasn't working. But when I did have everything dug down, what I noticed was I wasn't getting water coming into the building. So pretty much I stopped the water from the downspout from actually going into the building. And there was standing water in areas like here before when there was grass and no rock here. Um, and my work with the awning here, um, it prevented the water from going into the building here. So I had no more water going into the building here. I had no more water going into the building here. No more water going into the corner over there. And in the middle here underneath the window, I used to have some water going into there. As well as the front entrance to this building. So what I noticed was my front strain idea wasn't working. But I was getting the water away from the building by digging down. So... I already ordered, and let me take a step back. I already ordered, um, I believe this is called River Jack Rock. All this, this pile right here. This is a ton and a half that I had delivered. Now, initially, I was using this rock to fill in my trench. But my back kept giving up. Um, I got a bad back herniated and bowed disc. Got a bum knee as well. And that was just killing me. So what I did was, from Lowe's, I went and got bags of rocks. Cost me more than bulk. But... They're in bags, so it's easier to take out and disperse them. I drove my truck right onto the grass here, and I was able to unload them. Uh, this was pond rock. So, ultimately, what I did was, I did this downspout here, where I diverted the water downstream. So, pretty much what I did was, I created a dam, maybe, if you will. Um, so, And uh, before I forget, all these empty spots here, that was just because I ran out of the pond rock from Lowe's. So, what I plan to do is put the river jack rock... Um, in the place of there. So I figured I won't kill my back too much with those little spots like here. This little corner here. Here. And that corner over there. Um, 
yeah that's my french drain fiasco but i think it worked out i have no water going into the buildings um may not be the prettiest of work but i think i saved myself thousands of dollars from uh, hiring professionals to take care of this job of uh preventing water from getting into this building so um, i plan to upload videos of when i was digging up during the summer um there was just massive holes in the grass here so you can see all the videos of me digging up and my son helping out as well um yeah let me know in the comments let me know what you think guys i'm not a professional don't kill me in the comments again i did get the water to stop coming into the building no more water and what i will say is this between all the rocks that's both the bulk all the rocks i got from lowe's this awning i'm about a thousand dollars in so if i spent a thousand doing labor on myself i could just imagine easily what a ten thousand dollar job or maybe more i think so let me know guys and again i'll upload more videos i'll upload pretty much as one big video or you know of different clips of me digging it up during the summer all right guys like and subscribe comment below thanks